Do you guys think that there should be individual counseling before couples counseling, vice versa, or at the same time? That's a very good question. It's a general question. It depends on the situation, but 95% of the time when people come to us, they have spoken to somebody or work with somebody, and the advice was go to individual first and then go to couples counseling. I, I don't know about that. See, this is, this is how I think about it, and we've talked about this at length, yeah. uh, Danielle and I, is that if the idea is, well, I'm going to work on myself first, and then when I'm, be- I'm in a better place, then I'll consider couples counseling. Well, you'll be working on yourself for the rest of your life. If there was no major offense, if there was no huge incident that you have to work back from, right, or restore yourself from, you're always going to be working on yourself. It's a lifelong endeavor, and you'll never get to the, to the fullest potential of who you are until you die. So then how, how, how do you know when you're ready to start transitioning into couples counseling because you're better? The other challenge is whoever you're talking to, they only know your perspective, your side, your positioning on an issue. So even in their best of intentions, they could wind up giving you advice that, that they think will serve you, but it could be uh, conflicting with what you actually need because they only have your perspective. When you come into an initial couples session, we're able to hear both perspectives. We're able to connect dots. We're able to figure things out. We're able to see, hmm, you're dealing more with feeling than with fact. So this helps us to have a comprehensive approach and understanding to what's going on so that we can give you the proper counsel and the proper advice. And then understand, yes, individual counseling. Because we believe in the marital recovery as well as the individual recovery. So we believe it should be done simultaneously. Think about a three lane highway. You can be in a journey with your spouse. The middle lane is your marriage. The left lane may be you. The right lane may be her. So you're sharing a lane together as a couple, then you have your own individual lanes. But you should be moving along these lanes simultaneously at the same time. Right. So when we work with a couple, we work with the couple, but then I work with the husband, Danielle works with the wife, so they're getting both of what they need mm-hmm. simultaneously. Yeah. So hopefully so that makes there's sense. There's another question here. Um, here's And this is, I think, I was multitasking, so if I repeat your, what you said, forgive me. But she said I feel like couple counseling will help us, but my husband, as a black man, feels like we don't need to go. What do I do to change his mind? So, continuing with what Hassani is saying, uh, we also do have couples that come to us and say, well, he won't come, and we will say, start the process. Mm -hmm. Because there's a difference between me going to individual counseling and Hassani going to individual counseling that does not have my marriage at the center and the focus of the counseling or the restoration of my marriage or whatever's going on in my marriage. A lot of times you, your spouse is just not ready. I was not ready. I remember now we didn't go to a counselor right away, but I remember Hassan was bringing the tapes and bringing the videos and he started when he started. I was not trying to hear any of it. I wasn't looking. I wasn't, I was trying my best to ignore, ignore, ignore. But then I started to notice a shift and change in him. And that piqued my interest. And I said, oh, okay, like he actually is for real this time. (laughs) I see a change. And so what am I getting at? Sometimes you do have to at least begin the process, but make sure that the process is focused on your marriage and not your individual recovery. Because when you do that, you begin to go like this. You can't grow. If you if you're growing on your own self-discovery journey journey, you're growing apart. And a lot of that counseling is very um, independent, you know, independence driven. How can you stand on your own two feet? It's not about the marriage and you need to be in the kind of counseling that will support your marriage and help bring you two together. 